what a mom and pop think about what to do for a living. They're so happy now, like before, when I was in a hardcore band, they were like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't see this going anywhere for you. <laughs> you gotta figure out your life and you better do it fast. And now they're like so supportive. They're really excited about it. Like, um, they're really behind it. My dad's already bought like four copies of the record. He goes, <laughs> he goes and you know like, I don't know. They're way supportive. They're they're more excited about it than I am. <laughs> so what do you do like in your downtime? Yeah, I mean, I know you don't probably don't have a lot, but yeah. like, do you guys set fireworks off in the parking lots or anything <laughs> like that? Anything fun? I mean. We used to, but um, I don't know. I'm pretty mellow. I go to Barnes and Noble or Borders, and I like browse for hours. Cool. Just like read books and yeah. magazines and look at CDs and stuff. That's how I spend my days off typically. You in the kickball league? No, no. I, I that kind of like dissolved as far as I know. Uh, but I missed like the first three games. Not like Taking Back Sunday said. Oh really? Is yeah. it still going on? They said it's still going on. Big win over story of the. Oh. Yellow card no, really? story. The yellow card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Barnes Taking and Noble. Taking back probably. <laughs> so, what books have you been reading lately? Um, I've been reading this book called um, Blue Like Jazz, and I mean, the guy Donald Miller, I think, is the author. It's just like uh, it's enjoyable. Um, what else? I started reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Like books like that, that like old books that it's so hard to get into. Yeah. <laughs> the language is outdated. Is there any producers that you really want to work with? Yes, I really want to work with Bob Rock. Um, he's probably my favorite rock producer. Well, he, I should say he's produced some of my favorite rock albums. You know, like the Black Album, Metallica, Dr. Feelgood, Motley Crue. Um, yeah, it'd be cool to work with him. Or Rick Rubin, he's amazing. Too. At least that you know those guys used to be awesome. I don't know if they're still yeah. up to it. <laughs> like, do you have a lot of fun touring with other bands, or do you pref like the, like the work tour? Or do you prefer doing your own tour with uh, bands that you choose? Or um, <clears throat> I I, pref I like both. You know, for different reasons on the Warp tour, there's a lot of people besides bands on the tour. Like, there's a lot of sponsors yeah. and a lot of um, like set up people crew people that I really enjoy hanging out with and then you don't have that so much on the club tours you know you have like three or four bands and it's just bands so I don't know like I, I really like hanging out with crew people for some reason I don't know why but yeah so warp tour is cool for that you know club tours are nice for different reasons what's the best advice um, you can give to kids and how do you try to just um, be positive in a world of rock music that's so negative and depressing a lot. Well, this is my personal, like coming from me as a person as opposed to like the guitar player from the guitar player of this band or whatever. Um, I think like my advice to people, like to kids and stuff is that, you know, life is like made up of a series of choices, you know, and like you, you know, you kind of like are a master of your own destiny in some sense in that way that you have choices you know and obviously if you make good choices and if you work hard at your goals and things like that then you can actually you know live some of the dreams that you have you know versus doing nothing you know I don't know but as far as choices though you know like obviously you need to make good choices in your life and, um, you know, people say, oh, stay away from drugs, okay, you know, all that stuff. And it's true, but, you know, it's, even though you've heard it a million times, you still, still should stay away from things that are going to destroy your life, as opposed to things that are going to enrich your life. We get to interview a lot of bands um, with our jobs. What, if you had a chance to opportun the opportunity to interview any band, what band would it be in? What question would you ask? Um, I would probably want to do an interview with a band like P.O.D. and ask them the same type of questions that you guys are asking me today, you know, like I'm curious about, because, you know, obviously we have something in common, so I'd like to kind of know what their experience
experiences have been like. Who's been your favorite band that you've toured with? As far as the music? Yeah. Um, well, not including Warp Tour because, you know, you have like a yeah, lot of bands, yeah. but like Story of the Year, I really enjoy touring with them because we've gotten to be really good friends with them. They're all from St. Louis. And like, I feel like I know them good enough that I could move to St. Louis and have friends for the rest of my life. Mm. You know, they've just really been like really awesome. You know, like I feel like they're really our friends. Mm. So definitely I enjoy touring the story of the year. Did you have anything to fall back on had the music not gone? Um, yeah. Did you go to college for anything? Yeah, or? I have a degree in psychology. And um, at some point, like if music just, you know, like if music doesn't, isn't part of the picture, like, you know, later, um, which is just a realistic way you have to look at things. I mean, like, yeah, I want to play music for the rest of my life, but, you know, like, not everybody, even if they have a solid career, you know, a, the average career of a band is like five to ten years if they're successful, unless you're the Rolling Stones or something, but, um, yeah, I don't know, like, my degree is in psychology and I'd probably go back to school and, you know, do something where I could still work with kids. Do you have a business interest? Most artists, yeah. most artists are entrepreneurs at heart. They're always looking at different ways that they can make a living and make money and do it what they love. Yeah. What are some of your other business Some of the interests? things that I'm thinking about right now that I'm just thinking about, like, I haven't really started uh, pursuing them yet, is like something with my art, because I do a lot of illustrations. And so I've thought of doing like t-shirts, you know, like a clothing thing or I, I would love to to do art for children's literature, but you know it's just like I don't know I haven't done anything with it yet, but that's something that I'd like to do in the future.